Hey, Heath. Hey, Kevin. You found my Christmas box. <laughs> <laughs> and you found my messed up lights. I did, which brings us to holiday safety. Yes. So one of the things we want to do when we start looking at some of these lights and the way they've been put away is you want to inspect them and look for any kind of damage. Did it take a lot of abuse last year? Did it get damaged in storage? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Okay. And then plug them in. Do they work? Yeah, because it's, I mean, back in the day, one bulb was out, they were all out. That right. was a pain in the butt. But even still, with the new way, it, it seems like there's always something. Feels like something. it's hit or miss. Yeah. So we replaced all the bulbs. Still doesn't work. We have one other option. A lot of people may not realize there's actually a fuse in the cord cap. Look at that. Just so pop a little lid off open there. Open that guy up there. There's a couple little fuses inside. Right. And yeah, you do see that actually in the bulb bag, a couple extra fuses, which I throw in the bottom of that box right there. <laughs> never know where it is. So that's one way to keep the things going for another season. If it's still not working, if everything's worn out and it's time to upgrade, mm. I think it's time to look at upgrading to the LEDs. Didn't like them originally because yep. the color temperature was off. Didn't feel right. Didn't yeah, feel yeah. right. But now they have definitely fixed that. They're warmer mm. and everything. And so that's a good way to go. Tons of options, color changing use much less power, Right. You can string more of them together because of that, nice. get more out of them. And do you care if I take my new LEDs and I uh, stick them into the tail end of my last incandescent hanging around? I probably wouldn't, one, they're going to look very different if you do that, but two, this draws more than the LED, you're going to be limited to how many you can add together. Gotcha. Okay, so maybe keep those separate. Okay, um, talking about control, what do you got for me there? Easiest thing? Something like a plug-in timer. Yeah, I'm still I'm still moving chairs. You're still out climbing of behind the tree every night, pulling it out. I don't know why. Everything else in my house is wired, but for some except reason, for that, except for that. So a plug-in timer, we can just set it for whatever we want it to come on at night, off in the morning. Um, but if we're moving outside, maybe we change it up a little bit. We use something like that ground stick. So I do use the control outside because you want them to come on at dusk and go off, uh, you know, midnight or whatever. And they have a lot of options. So some might have a timer. Some might have the photo cell like you're looking for. Yeah. This one's actually Wi-Fi enabled. Oh, yes, it is. So I guess if this is close enough to your Wi-Fi, you can control these circuits with your phone. Exactly. Set them on, off, the whole big deal. And I can feel that the cord here is rated for outdoors. Right. I presume it's rated for outdoors. This isn't your typical lamp cord, so you can see the difference. This is made to be outdoors. And when you're adding cords outside, you want to make sure they're the same way. Outdoor yeah. cords only. Yeah. And then inevitably, you're going to be connecting cords. So yep. you've brought us a little solution for that. This is clever. So this does a couple of things for this. We're going to be plugging into a GFCI receptacle outside. Yep. And when this is plugged together, if this is laying on the ground, if it's raining, if it's snowing, it has the potential to trip because the GFCI is doing its job. We have a little gap. We can make contact with those terminals. Any water that gets in there, you're going to be tripping that circuit. So Oops. this one seals it up, tucks it in there. It's got some rubber gaskets on the end and probably does a better job than the eight or nine loops of electrical <laughs> tape that my neighbor, neighbor? uses yeah. in his front yeah, yard. I hear a lot about your neighbor. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it keeps it from pulling apart. So if you have multiple sets, you don't worry about something coming unplugged. Gotcha. All right. What else did you bring me? Last thing is maybe mounting methods. Mm -hmm. So if we don't want to do any damage to the house, there are a lot more options now. We have things with adhesives that you can pull off after the year that are actually pretty strong. Uh, it is a temporary setup. They're usually up for about six months <laughs> or so. <laughs> That's temporary. Uh, so the double stick tape right there is a pretty good idea. And then finally, can we get some good storage boxes so we don't have this issue next year? Listen, I'm struggling. <laughs> you get what you get. <laughs> Makes sense though, right? If you organize it well, you put them away well, better chances. Easier to set up next year. Very good. All right. I appreciate it. All right. All right. You coming by to string the lights for me? I am not stringing the lights. Why not? Electrician, it's your job. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.